Using the example of the Green River Killer is Jensen. 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 Do you believe that negotiating with criminals is morally okay? Using the example of the Green River Killer is Jensen's choice to allow Gary to obtain a life sentence instead of a lethal injection in search of the truth, a good decision? Essentially, are answers more important than revenge to those affected by the murders of loved ones? Well, Jensen clearly believes that having s stated within the book on page 45, it's good to finally get closure in reference to the recent capture and plea deal with Gary Ridgway. He further states that it provides closure for the victims for their families and for us. This indicates that both those who knew the victims and those who were intimate with the investigation would feel much better knowing what happened as opposed to killing their biggest information source. Jensen also states that the press should not learn about the plea deal, first brushing it off as reducing the possibility of a fair trial. Later we receive hints that a news publication about the plea deal and the cooperation between the killer and the police would garner public outrage. This highlights something a lot of true crime books do not focus on, the effect the killer has on those who have a personal investment in the case. Even though there would be public outrage over the cooperation of the police and Gary, the victim's relatives and the police want to know the truth. Jensen is showing us that not only are we distant from the killer in news stories, but also the victims. What the public wants is not the best scenario for the police force and families of those who were killed. This is most shown in one of the most emotional parts of the book, when the detective breaks down and cries. He seems so upset with the killer and so frustrated with Gary's hazy answers and lack of remorse, yet he is congratulated by his director for making a breakthrough. One of the victim's mothers is present in a few of the scenes and is shown to be distraught. She never once asks a question about the killer, but wants to know what happened to her daughter. The final scene she appears in shows her crying with the detective over the finishing of the case. Additionally, this raises the question of what is more important, justice or answers. It seems that the plea deal will allow both the police and the victim's families the answers they so desperately desire, but it makes the reader wonder whether the deal will be justice enough for the crimes that Gary committed. In the eyes of Tom Jensen, portrayed throughout the novel, it seems that the lighter sentence is a small price to play for the necessity of answers. Jensen shows the reader through the Green River Killer that the media often does not focus on those who work to solve a murder and neither does it show us the hardships that they go through. It shows how unsympathetic the public is towards the detectives and that the death penalty wouldn't satisfy those who need it most. God yeah. damn, we're good. <laughs>